So where do negative thoughts come from and how do they affect our weight loss journey? Today, I have picked a couple of scriptures from Philippians and Proverbs that I'd like to read. Philippians 4 and 8 says, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. And then in Proverbs 23 and 7, for as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. So I was thinking about these scriptures and the first thing that came to my thought in my mind is whatever we think in here gets down to here. And that's what the Lord looks at is our heart. So there are several things that can affect these negative thoughts and encourage them to come into our minds. I wanted to take a look at a few things that I think have the biggest impact on what those negative thoughts are, what they do to us, why they come in, and how we can get rid of them. So the first thing is just our everyday thoughts. There are so many thoughts that come in and out of our brains all day long, each and every day. And something that really speaks to me in that first scripture in Philippians is these are the things that we think on every single day, all day long. You know, there's a scripture that talks about praying continually, like all day long. A lot of that I think boils down to where is our mind in these days? What are we thinking about? Because the things that consume us, those are the things that are going to regenerate these thoughts each and every day. And that's why the Bible says, think on good things. Think on happy things. Don't think on sad things. Yes, sad things happen and we deal with them and we may mourn or grieve or be sad, but in the end, the Lord will give us encouragement to face these things, to move on, to live our best lives, and to encourage ourselves in Him. That's what His Word is for. There are wonderful promises in His Word that we have and they're given to us every single day. Another thing that can affect these negative thoughts are our emotions. When we have those bad thoughts, then those can actually stimulate emotions that are not how we want to live. They can get, make us feel sad or even if we don't feel like we look good that day, then we emotionally may not be ready to go out and meet our friend for lunch or to go to Starbucks and sit down and get that cup of coffee and just chat, chat, chat away. We, you know, we'll miss out on that because we emotionally don't feel up to it. Those thoughts control our emotions and our emotions control every other aspect of our lives. I think another thing that can trigger these negative thoughts are our beliefs. These are things that we've either grown up to believe or have come to believe them as we've gotten older and unfortunately our belief systems may not always be true. They may not always be accurate, but whatever we believe, that are the, those are the thoughts that come into our minds each and every day. And we've got to change that belief system to be pure and positive and know that we can conquer anything through the Lord with his help. Truths. What are our truths? Those are things that are things that we believe that are actually accurate. So I think about the different truths in the Bible and the things that the Lord says and gives us ways of how we should live those are the things that we need to use 
to break down those negative thoughts and we think oh we're not good enough or we're not smart enough we can do anything that we set our mind to if we believe that we have it in us and if we believe that the Lord will bring us through and guide us and help us and give us what we need as long as we have good intentions in our heart and then the last thing I think that we need is we need to be intentional with everything that we do. Be intentional about the goals that we are setting, the goals that we want to achieve, the goals that we are putting in the forefront of our lives. These are the things that are going to make us happy. These are the things that are going to make our lives better and hopefully in getting that happier better life that we are going to in turn give that to others and pay it forward if you will there's just so many things that i've asked the lord to bless so that i can be a blessing to others in turn i don't want to take all of those blessings for myself i want to share them so when I think about my weight loss journey, because it's going to be a journey, I'm in a new era of my life. I'm over 50 now, so it's going to be a lot harder to lose those last 10, 20, or 30 pounds than it was when I was in my 20s, and when I was in my 30s, and even when I was in my 40s. So I'm looking for you guys to help me stay motivated so this will be a two-way community and we're gonna all get together and push each other so let me ask you a question how do you overcome the negative thoughts when they come into your mind leave me a comment below and let me know what your number one go-to strategy is and possibly your favorite scripture so Thanks so much for watching and in my next video, I am going to break it down how you can eat more food and still lose weight. So make sure you stick around next week. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already and then please definitely share this video with anyone that you know that might enjoy thinking about losing weight with us and joining our community and then we can all track our goals and track our progress together it would be so wonderful to have you with us have them with us and just everybody can put all their positive notes in and i thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time